This is Launchpad X, so I thought I'd share my thoughts on this new device with you because there's a few different things about it. There's a couple of different design changes as well as a few new features. It's kind of a crossover device between the old Launchpad Mark II and the Launchpad Pro. So here you go. These are my thoughts on the all new Launchpad X. <laughs> So you've just picked up your Launchpad X, but you want to get better at playing it. You can do that with this app that I found called Melodix. Melodix is an app that's helped around 15,000 Launchpad artists from across the world get better with their devices. This app's got around 400 or so lessons that will help you build all your skills necessary to become a Launchpad artist. Click the link in the description and get going with your new Launchpad. So I've been using this device since about early September, and I think one of the first things I noticed about it was just how absolutely crazy thin this device is. It's such a nice looking profile compared to the old Launchpad Mark II. This Launchpad now has a USB-C connector on the back, which I think is an extremely nice addition to a device like this. So another thing that I'm actually quite a big fan of is these new squared off edge buttons. I think they actually look quite nice for this new design. The only branding that is actually on this device is the Novation text on the top side of the Launchpad, as well as a full RGB LED Novation logo in the top right corner of the device. So continuing around the design, you've got the back of it, which I think looks really nice. There's a really nice looking Novation logo on there as well as a shiny little Launchpad X logo on there as well. So the edge of the Launchpad features 16 of these mode buttons that allow you to make your way around the Launchpad and control your Ableton session in different ways. These buttons are actually push down buttons and they're very different from the actual key buttons in the middle. The new buttons in the centre closely relate to the Launchpad Pro but they're not quite the same. I actually feel like they're a lot more similar to the Ableton push buttons but a lot better than those by far. So powering on the new launchpad you can see that the boot animation is very similar to the old one but now runs a lot more smoothly and is just a lot nicer to look at in general. So once this device is all plugged in and loaded up you'll get it into session mode as soon as you load it. The first noticeable difference here is that the new launchpad X now actually has a setup menu quite like the launchpad pro. To access this you can hold down the session button and this will bring you into the new setup mode. Novation, thank you so much for adding this. There is now an LED brightness slider on the new Launchpad X. This allows you to precisely control the overall brightness of the LEDs on your Launchpad X. There's also control over the velocity sensitivity. This also allows for aftertouch settings, as well as pad settings as well, which I'm not too sure what they are, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research there. There's also a live mode and a programmer mode, quite like the Launchpad Pro as well. To get out of this mode, just hit the session button again it'll take you back to session mode. Now, like I said earlier, this device is actually quite a nice blend of the Launchpad Mark II and Launchpad Pro. So this device brings over the same note mode that the Launchpad Pro has, and also brings together with it a much more defined scale mode as well. So these are the features that matter a lot more to us as Launchpad creators. This new custom mode at the top allows you to get into four different types of performance modes, and then use the right side of mode buttons to choose exactly what type of performance you want to play. So at the very top you've got drum mode, second down you've got an octave based piano, third down you've got what is essentially your user 1 mode that you had on the old Launchpads, and then fourth down is user 2, quite like the old Launchpad Mark II as well. Now this user 1 and user 2 mode is exactly where you would perform any of your Launchpad performances that I would make for example. It is kind of a shame that the colour palette of this new Launchpad is exactly the same as the Launchpad Pro and Mark II colour palette, but that does mean that it works with all of the old Launchpad projects that we made a while ago. The colour palette's a little bit more muted though, but personally I think that's a lot more professional looking. The device is also set to channel 1, which is a nice improvement over the last Launchpad being set to channel 6. So my thoughts on this device as a whole so far, I absolutely love the way it looks and the way it performs as well as an actual grid controller is easily the nicest on the market right now. And I'm not being endorsed by Novation to say that. I genuinely think that. I mean, I might be slightly biased, but I am quite a fan of launch pads. But yeah, there you go. I'm happy to see that this has been updated. So there's also a couple of things I wanted to draw attention to here. There are a couple of pretty serious issues with this device that I'm gonna cover in a second part of this like review series kind of thing. So hey, here you go. This is the new Launchpad X and I'm really happy to see that this actually came out because I was worried that they were going to do nothing for the 10 year anniversary of Launchpad, but here you go. We got an entirely new one. Thanks for watching guys and also thanks to Novation for sending that Launchpad over. Really appreciate it. So everyone stay tuned for part two of this little review. I'll see you in that one.